I'm a bit distracted, I'll be honest. I'm trying to catch up on all the YouTube subscriptions that I have. Um, I've got coffee. I've got my makeup. I'm going to do a quick get ready. It's currently Thursday. I'm about to go live on Twitch. Normally, normally, I would get ready on Twitch and then, you know, we'd start gaming and stuff. But I am starting a little late today. I tweeted I would be starting stream a little late. I am still wearing this Selena shirt. I just washed it, okay? I just did laundry. But I hope y'all are doing well. I believe so far what I have filmed is... Right now I just filled up some candle jars that I've been slowly cleaning out. It's, I know I filmed yesterday. Oh, I filmed some of this bandana I'm making, y'all. I am so excited. I'm also not going to do a lot of makeup, just so you know. I'm probably just going to do like... I don't even know. I haven't worn sunscreen in a while. I also haven't been outside in a while. I'll be outside tomorrow. I don't know. Should we sunscreen right now? Extra moisture? I have been wanting to get new lighting though. And um, earlier in the week, I moved this lamp in here. Um, just for a little bit of extra light while I stream. And my fucking ring light keeps falling over and I need a way to secure it because it's like in the most awkward spot right now. I also forgot to grab my mirror so now I'm just using the camera. I used to not like how much would come out of this little can of sunscreen but it reminds me to bring it down my neck. It also reminds me when I do my skincare to also bring some moisturizer down my neck. I think it's great advice. Um, just so you like your neck. It doesn't get saggy as you get older. You know, nothing wrong with wrinkles. Nothing wrong with getting older. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, if there's a preventative measure you can take, as simple as rubbing your neck every now and then, <laughs> then why not? Why not do it? You know what I mean? So yeah, I showed you a little bit of the crochet bandana that I was making. And y'all, my sister, I'm going to keep that bandana. It is so cute. Ah, it's for me, but my sister saw it and she wants a bandana now. And she also wants me to learn to make bucket hats, which is going to be amazing. I'm going to make one for my niece first, I think. But I'm also just going to try to learn how to do it. I think it's pretty simple, especially if I can find one that uses granny squares. I don't know. I'm excited. But I feel like I've learned a lot. 
and I'm ready to like pick up the pace of things like I want to make so much stuff now in regards to crochet let me get my mirror so I can keep working um, don't get me wrong I don't think this is going to be a crochet channel I do talk about it a lot but that's just because it's one of my hobbies and it's one I've been the most consistent with um, aside from like streaming gaming um, what else I would say the only hobby I've not been as consistent with is the gardening. Yeah, I really want to pick up the pace on my crochet projects so that I can share more with y'all and with my other social platforms. And then if my sister can sell them and I can get some like pocket cash from it, that'd be great because I also just don't have the energy to do it all. I don't. My energy is very limited day to day. And like things affect it like my period or my mental health or you know just different things affect my energy levels every fucking day and so I feel like that contributes to my inconsistency and I do my best to like have a routine so that my energy can be consistent throughout the day it's just hard to tell for me at least it's hard to tell what is going to take a majority of my energy any given day and so even if i do have like a solid set list of things to do every day that's going to make sure i'm taken care of there's no guarantee that i'm gonna feel like myself at the end of it or even at the beginning of it and it sucks and i deal and i do still get stuff done I just never know how to feel about it. <laughs> I just never know how to feel about the tasks I do and the things I'm doing with my life. And um, very much a me problem. Very much something I should be maybe journal about. Sometimes I think about the way I do things and I wonder if it would be helpful to get professional help. Or I wonder how helpful it would be to get professional help as someone who has never looked into those options, who has never had access to those options, but I think I do have a little bit more access now. I just gotta put in the work. But at the same time, like, it's a scary, it's a scary business taking care of your mind and stuff, you know? But it's an important thing to do for sure, but I've gone so long not getting anyone's help that the idea of getting someone's help is for lack of better words, scary and a bit shameful. But that's just the way things were conditioned for me as I grew up and I know better now. And when I do feel like I'm in a secure enough place to like invest in that kind of thing and um, you know, not just financially, but like emotionally and mentally, you know, I definitely plan to do that. It's just hard to know what I want. It's hard to know what to expect in this world. Um, and I'm lucky enough to have a family that puts a roof over my head and supports the things I do to an extent, you know? Also, I guess we're just rambling now. I'm just talking about whatever. Just cause things were not always easy growing up doesn't make the things we do now better or worse, just different just different our options are different our choices are different um, and yeah that's just what I've noticed <laughs> I don't know how we got here <laughs> so my family you know they let me do whatever I want they let me express myself they um, encourage my interests um, and as much as they support me it often, for me, feels like I don't support myself enough. You know what I mean? I just feel like I should not be in a place where I rely so much on my family's report support. Um, I don't know. I just have a hard time attaching myself to this idea of family for whatever reason because the things I'm saying your family's supposed to be there to support you. Like, and I'm not trying to say I don't want the support. Who wouldn't want the support, you know? But like I said, lots of shame. 
lots of guilt, lots of projecting, lots of need for therapy. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about that because it gets it gets me really sad. <laughs> it gets for me to be really sad um, and just confusing. This life is so fucking confusing, y'all. If you're ever questioning yourself, you know, maybe sit down and journal. Maybe I should do that. Take my own fucking advice. Okay, so we've done brows and eyes and mascara. Or maybe I'll put a little bit of highlight. I really don't want to do too much makeup. I think... This is all i think the issue i'm having with this look is the fact that my hair is not done um but yeah i really don't i really don't want to add anything else i hope y'all enjoyed this get ready with me where i just kind of talk to y'all bro this fly keeps trying to fly in my fucking coffee i'm trying to drink it can you get a life i'm gonna finish getting ready uh, I'm gonna finish doing a bunch of chores and things on my to-do list before I go live, and I'll see you later. Um, I wanted to show y'all the bandana that I finished. I finished it, and it's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, this is it. Oh god, it's still tied. This is it. OMG, the colors are lovely. They're everything. I love her. She is perfect i love it um as far as putting it on i'm a little nervous i'll be honest no no, no. it's perfect wow it's so cute i love it so much it came out so good um it is still obviously like firm like very much needs to be worn in a little i would say but it, i think it's still really cute i'm really excited to wear it more and yeah but she's cute i love it i'm excited to make more um try out different yarns and uh hook sizes and junk but yeah i thought i would go ahead and show you all that um i'm still working on some candle jars cleaning out some candle jars i have uh, so many to clean out um so that'll probably be a recurring b-roll clip that y'all see in the next few vlogs because that's that's something I'm working on getting done and over with before I start planting stuff before I start my garden I'm excited I'm excited to get back to all my projects and junk um I don't know what I what all I was rambling about earlier but um yeah I hope this vlog is turning out somewhat decent you know a decent update <laughs> just chatting with y'all it's been chill it's been a vibe but um I'm getting ready to go live and uh yeah, I will see y'all later. Sunday um, and currently I was just taking some dishes downstairs and some trash and I went and grabbed some more candle jars for me to go ahead and clean out um, today I'm going to work and stream I've been working on some stream updates low-key because oh my god I haven't even mentioned because it just happened while I was filming this vlog which is kind of cool um, we reached 500 follows on Twitch. What the fuck? <laughs> I know, um, some people have been coming over here from Twitch, so if you are, hi! 
Um, I hope y'all like the videos. This is weird. So yeah, just doing things. I'm gonna stream tonight. We reached 500 followers on Twitch, so like I was saying, we're trying to do a couple updates. Just do things to make stream a little bit more fun, interactive, um, and just better like for me and the viewers. Uh, so, you know, growth. Y'all are awesome. I really appreciate y'all coming over and checking out my Twitch channel if you have been. And if you're here from my Twitch, where I talk about my YouTube channel, then I really appreciate y'all <laughs> actually coming through. That's so sick. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to say that to give y'all a little update. Um, it's, it's Sunday. I might record a little bit more tomorrow. I don't know. Um, but I feel like we should have a good vlog for y'all now. Look at me being a vlogger. <laughs> Um, but yeah, hopefully we can keep this up the rest of the year. Two vlogs a month. That would be pretty sick. Um, and yeah, I'll keep y'all updated. I'll, I'm, I'm really trying these days to, like, be consistent and stick to my routine and junk. Shit y'all have heard before. Um, but we're trying. I'll see you later. <laughs>